here the second exercise of euclid's geometry the first question is how would you rewrite euclid's fifth postulate so that it would be easier to understand okay so here we know the fifth postulate so here we need to rewrite the euclid fifth postulate okay to understand it easily so here we know the fifth postulate is if a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles okay so we know when a straight line which is falling on any two straight lines okay so here these are two straight lines here one line is falling so here there it makes interior angles okay here we have one two three four so here we have interior angles on the same side of it okay here one two same side here three four here same side of it together less than two right angles see here for example 192 okay this is less than 90 this is less than 90 it means 1 plus 2 this is these two angles are less than two right angles two right angles means 90 plus 90 is 180 these are less 192 are less than 180 but 3, 4, this is greater than 90, this is greater than 90. It means angle 3 plus angle 4 here greater than, these are greater than 180, okay. So here we have interior angles. At one side there is, the two sum of two angles are less than 180 here. The sum of two angles is greater than 180. Yes, here less than two right angles where here here less than two right angles then two straight lines if produced infinitely okay if i produce these infinitely okay i produce this one so meet on that side okay here this is they are meet on that side okay here if they are less than two right angles the sum of these two is less than 180 then they meet at this side okay which of the sum here they meet on that side on which okay which side the sum of angle is less than two right angles okay here the sum of angles less than two right angles then the lines meet each other if here they cannot meet each other here okay they cannot meet each other because the sum of these two angles is greater than two right angles okay so it is generally it is nothing but uh, here they have given if uh, the sum of angles is 180 then they are never meet okay see this is 90 this is 90 okay the sum of these two is 180 the sum of these two 180 they never intersect each other because so indirectly the theorem says that if uh, there exists if uh, the sum of two interior angles is 180 then they cannot meet each other that is there exists parallel lines okay so what we need to write here is there he he telling the euclid's telling that there exists pair of straight lines okay so it is direct consequences of what the Euclid fifth postulate okay here here there exists two pair of straight lines lines that are equidistant from from one another so for example see here you can take if i take here lines two lines one is l and another is m okay so here two lines l and m okay here in this there exist two lines L and M here what we need to write here the straight lines that equidistance from one another okay so here consider here I take A point here I take B point okay 
ए आन एल एंड बी आन लाइन एम ओके देन सो ए बी इज डिस्टेंस ए बी इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एल लाइन एम ओके दिस इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू लाइन्स अगेन आई टेक सी डी ओके अनदर पॉइंट्स टेक अनदर पॉइंट अदर पॉइंट्स अदर पॉइंट्स सी एंड डी एंड सी डी इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एल एंड एम ओके सी डी इज ऑल्सो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एल एंड एम एक्स वी नो दैट दीज आर परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस दीज आर इक्वी डिस्टेंस ओके सो देर फोर वी नो दैट ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू सी डी ओके हियर द डिस्टेंसेस आर सेम सो इफ डिस्टेंसेस आर सेम मीन्स दीज आर पैरल लाइन ओके यस हियर द डिस्टेंस इज सेम for any point any point on l line dm so these two lines are everywhere equidistant from one another ओके दे हैव दे आर इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम वन अनदर ऑन एनी पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन ओके इफ यू टेक एनी अदर पॉइंट्स देन आल्सो दे आर इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम एवरी पॉइंट एवरी वेयर इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम वन अनदर यस दिस इज व्हाट द यूक्लिड फिफ्थ पोस्टुलेट यस सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज डस यूक्लिड्स फिफ्थ पोस्टुलेट इंप्लाइज the existence of parallel lines explain okay so here whether it implies the existence of parallel lines or not okay we will see the fifth postulate okay so here we know when when okay when a line line n falls on l line m okay so here i take n line this is consider n line which falls on l line m two lines okay therefore so this is the line n which falls on l line m there exist the entire triangles okay four angles here at this side 1 plus 2 these two angles are less than 180 so this way Okay, here in this case, three plus four, the angle sum is greater than one eighty. Okay, here they cannot intersect each other. Okay, so here at this side, they intersect. They means here L line D M intersect. Okay. so here they cannot intersect okay if you think if there is uh, there is not less than 180 if i see if a line i take if a line here n which falls on line l and line m okay so here in this case i take so 1 2 3 4 angles here 1 plus 2 At one plus two and at this side three plus four, okay, the line cannot meet each other. The lines cannot meet each other. So why the lines cannot meet each other? Because these two lines are parallel. That's why they cannot meet each other. So it means it is nothing but this means. L and M here they never meet. Okay, if you if you produce infinitely, they never meet each other. This means L and M 
never intersect each other so therefore so therefore the lines are said to be parallel